I want to show you a problem with this uh, Opel Vauxhall uh, stress. We're gonna start the engine, and uh, both of the fans are running constantly, as you saw. It comes up with a cooling fault, and it's uh, running the bolt fans all the time. I don't know if you can hear them. So here on the left side on the car, in the underlining, there is a a module that you can swap. So now we're gonna swap the module and see if the problem is in the module because it's not in the sensor. I'll show you the faults as well in a second. Unfortunately, this didn't fix it. I swapped the module, was not a problem there. But something that I completely missed that actually the coolant sensor it's sending information to the computer and then the computer is sending information to the module. Yeah? So somewhere there is a fault, but it could be between the sensor and the computer and between the computer and the module. Where is it? I don't know. I have this uh, Heinz manual and uh, we'll check the connections now. So let's see something. This is Astra and uh, coolant temperature sensor is number 45. 30 is multi-tech control unit so everything goes to the control unit here which is this computer on the side of the engine located over there 45 is the temperature sensor and you got two cables one is brown and the other one is blue and red okay and i think this arrow means that it's a pull down design so if it's sending voltage it's having a resistance and when the resistance is high the temperature is lower and so on now this is from the sensor to the computer we need to check the integrity of the cable the cable got a two prefixes because it got two two plugs x3 multiplex and x4 multiplex as you can see there is two plugs, I don't know which one is which, but there is two. And then here, I need to follow the cable, so I'll tell you the numbers in a second. And then we have the um, central locking. I'll find it now, give me a second. So this is still the computer, and it's sending information to the air conditioning to the engine cooling module now this is to the engine cooling engine cooling module engine cooling module 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 engine cooling so these cables could also be bad or it could be the computer itself so now I'll try to check all the cables and I'll tell you what I did it will take a little bit of time Okay, so I needed to remove the battery in order to get to the plug and because it doesn't say on the plug Maybe it says somewhere on the back, but the top plug is actually connector number two So the, with the prefix 2 yeah, it's the top one and we got prefix 2 pin 27 and prefix 2 pin 32 So when we follow the cable from here to there This pin should be 27 because it beeps on a prefix 2 pin 27 and that's prefix 30 prefix 2 pin 32 yeah that 27 and it makes sense because 27 28 29 30 31 32 yeah so we got a connection in between the computer and the sensor now I'll start chasing the signal in between the computer and the module okay so now when we know that the integrity of these two cables is okay, we need to continue with the with the cables and between the cooling module which actually operates the fans, for example, and the computer, there is four communication wires. The car has a, a air conditioning, so they are all valid because here it says air conditioning only. Yeah. So you got one, two, three, four wires 
here that go from here which is prefix one here to the module itself this is this is the module yeah and these are the four cables that go to a prefix one so we need to find four cables on the plug number one that go to the four cables on plug number one onto the module and if these are okay we have a problem either with the module which I already tried another one or with the computer itself unfortunately so let's check now I'll try to get to this plug and uh, to the plug on the bottom I'll jack up the car a little bit and we'll see what we can do okay because I don't know which one jumper on the bottom is the correct one I have a the second one the second one that I did and here you can see right here says jumper one and here it says jumper two so when you in the car yeah the one towards the car is jumper one and you can see it hanging right there okay here are the numbers the top one top left one top top left one is uh, jumper one uh, bottom right one is jumper 20 so for example here on this diagram we have jumper 17 one seven yeah it looking for signal 17 there isn't 17 here because you have 20 19 18 17 empty so even though I replaced it could be the module is wrong here we have on the opposite side you have to trust me but here we have module on one side computer on the other and we have one connector one number 30 pin and here if you look here is 32 bottom left 32 31 30 there is a pin that goes to the module and now we'll try to find on a 13 somewhere the signal and all the other ones as well maybe something is a little bit wrong because we have only three cables going on here uh, four cables going on here and I opened the connector and you can see I only have three small wires can you see them yeah only three small ones only could have, if you only could have focus, yeah, only three cables, and there are they're here in between the positions. I don't know which the, it, there is no numbers on the socket, unfortunately, but it's only three cables, so it's a bit confusing. So if we know that this connector is number one, not and it's only number one connector from the computer going to the number one connector to the module, not even one cable from number one is having a connection from any of the cables on the number one on the cooling module, which is uh, a bit strange. Yeah. We also know that from this connector, which is second one on the top, just in case, nothing is connected to connector number one on the module. Yeah. And now you can see that there is a, a few more small cables going on to this second jumper. Maybe they meant jumper number two into the diagram and the highness is wrong. You never know. Okay, so highness is definitely wrong. This here should be on the cooling module, should be 2 10, which is uh, the second one. As you can see here, where here is jump J2, which is here, yeah, and the f first plug from the right to left that got a pin inside, which is right next to my finger, is the number 10, and it's beeping here on uh, 26th, which is this one. So, to, if you got 26 to the right, just no, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30, 31, 32, yeah, to the right, if this one is 26 where she's pointing, yeah. So now we'll just compare all of these here 
if they go to the module, if one is not going to the module, that's the problem. So what we did actually uh, confirmed is that the, the pin number 10 on the second 210 is connecting to 126 and 117, 217 is connecting to 115 okay so on the top of the connector here it's uh, the number 10 pin and the uh, middle of the connector on the bottom row it's uh, it's connecting to the 17 now these two 13 is connecting to number 8 and 16 is connecting to almost nothing so I think on the 16 somewhere there is like a short or something like that so uh, yeah we only have two cables that go to the correct spots and we'll see where somewhere there is like a short or something going on I don't know how the cabling is going inside and what it's doing I'll just check now okay so I'm just checking the cables because they don't correspond they go to the wrong place and that's because maybe they're short look at the small cables the one on the left brown green position number 10 correct color 13 green 10 11 12 13 green yeah 16 so 13 14 15 16 is blue and then we have brown with violet 17 correct so the colors correspond to the diagram so they have the pins correctly but they don't correspond to my uh, pinning on the pinout on the computer most likely because somewhere there is a short okay so I managed to find it actually I swapped the numbers so 13 pin goes to 8 pin on the computer and this with the blue is the only one that it doesn't beep yeah with the blue one there is no continuity in between this one and this one right there yeah so what we're gonna do now now just take a cable and run a wire from here to there and we'll see if the fault clears, yeah? I'll have to open up the actual connector in there but we'll see how I'm gonna do it, I'll show you when I do it. Okay, so I took a cable on the bottom and I spliced it to the blue cable from the connector. I'll show you how I did now. Should I turn the light on? Can you see? It comes from here. It's spliced, it's soldered. I'll show you now on the other connector how I did it. And I just run the cable parallel to one of the one of the looms. And now I'm waiting for the iron to warm up and I'll splice it into here. Otherwise, what you can do is replace the whole loom. It goes from underneath the fender, it goes through the front part of the of the bumper. It goes around the engine, takes the sink, no, from all around the back, it goes to the instrument cluster, and it goes right here. It's way too long, so I'll just splice another cable into the loom. Okay, so I just soldered in the cable that comes from the other connector, and this is what I did. I just took it as close as possible to the connector on this side and on the other side, and I just run the wire. We'll see. Now I hope it's gonna work. Okay, so I just started up the car and the fault it was flickering for a second but it started it stopped like a few seconds later so let's see again. Yeah no fault. That's very nice. The fans are not running, I can hear them. So that was the that was the problem, it was the connection in between the module and the computer itself. I hope the video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.